Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council, and I don't think I have to introduce the fellow next to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Joe Miller. Uh, most people in town know who Joe Miller is. Uh, most people a lot of places know who Joe Miller is. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking about that you the other day and thinking about how that you're not just an artist or a businessman or a writer even. Uh, you're also an actor. Mm. You know? Yeah, I enjoy doing that. Uh-huh. I haven't seen Vermeer. I've got to see the Vermeer one. Did yeah, you it's kind of funny. It's uh, Van Gogh's a serious little one-man play that I do, or one man. I call it a monologue. Yeah, well, it's, it kind of is. It's pretty serious because uh -huh. his life was serious. Mm -hmm. His life was sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Vermeer, on the other hand, uh, is a little misleading to say the play is about Vermeer because it's really about a man who forged Vermeer. It's inspired by Vermeer. <laughs> and so, yeah, and uh, it's a, a pretty exciting story. It happened during World War II, uh -huh. during that period of time. And it, it, it's really hilarious to think how this forger got away with it for all these years. So uh -huh. that's what it's really uh -huh. about. Now, the forgeries, uh, you and I have talked about the idea of doing a whole workshop of forgeries and, mm -hmm. you know, teaching people how to forge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. <laughs> But we'll have to we'll have to cook that up. Maybe if y'all stay tuned, we'll we'll be back talking about that. <laughs> I think that'd be a fun event to do. It would be. <laughs> but uh, Joe's always up to something fun. Uh, I have a picture that I use of you a lot. That uh, you and Mike Wise are standing on the stage of the Hayes Center, mm -hmm. Hayes Auditorium, and you have a uh, wig on, and you put a wig on Mike. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was an opening thing over there. It was, there. for the it Artful was. Palette. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, you hosted it and got Mike Wise up there and, and made him look just charming. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I remember that. Well, you know, you're always full of a lot of fun, and I think that one big part of your life is uh, children. Mm -hmm. and, and it certainly is. You have grandchildren, and yes, you're very, very drawn to children. Yes. You have your Vincent for, uh, what is it called, the, the brushes? brushes? Brushes for, for Vincent. Vincent, yes. yes. That's a program aimed at children it and is. a lot of other things that you do. And this book that you've been promoting for a while now is One Night, Two Moons, and yes. it's a book for children. It is a book for children. Although I think we adults are kind of enjoying it, too. Well, I, certainly <laughs> adults are buying the book, but I'm sure it's for children or mm -hmm. their grandchildren mm -hmm. or great-grandchildren. Yeah. I have a great-grandchild now. That's right. I and, did um, know that. Yes. They've already uh -huh. read the book to her, so I can't wait to... To she's where she's grow up quoting the book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My children did that. Books I read often enough, they got to where they could quote them, and if I misread them, they knew it. I bet. So, you I know, bet. this is what's going to happen with your book. <clears throat> I hope so. <laughs> now, this book also has uh, local characters in it. It has your grandchildren in it. Yes, it does. But it also has some, some local characters. It and does. And I say that with a lot of emphasis. Yes, it certainly does. <laughs> Let's talk about those characters. Who is it, who's in this book? Well, uh, John Stacy mm -hmm. is Doc Stacy in the book, pharmacist yeah. Doc Stacy, And um, he's on his big old tractor called Chugga Chug. Uh-huh. And uh, he comes to buy a trailer full of Christmas trees for all of his clan. Right. And they're a wonderful family. And then the other person is uh, Mr. Sam Adams. Yep. And mm -hmm. Sam is driving the big green truck. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Sam and John are great friends. And uh, we've traveled and played golf together and this sort of thing. So, And Johnny is actually the next-door neighbor to Gary Brown. Which is another set of characters in this Which book. is yeah. uh, mm -hmm. also Gary and his wife Linda have the Christmas tree farm out 194. And um, last year, not no, not last year now, year before last yeah. now, <laughs> I went there. And that's what inspired me to do this mm -hmm. little book. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just, they, they were great people. And it was just such a wonderful event. Uh, it was snowing a little bit. And... Gary had his big Clydesdale horse out there pulling uh -huh. a big wooden sled, and all the children climb on the sled and take a ride. And, of course, I had to take a ride, too, yep. which uh -huh. was fun, you know. And it just, it, it really just did inspire me very That's much. Great. And then the story just kind of flowed once I got into it. And you and I were talking before Christmas about the chicken and the egg thing. Yes. And how that 
most people would assume that you wrote the story yes. and then that you drew the pictures to go with it yeah. or painted the pictures. But in your case, that was kind of backwards. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it, a lot of things in my life are backwards, <laughs> I guess. But anyhow, I, I went back home that day, that evening late, and did a painting um, from my experience there at the Christmas tree farm. Mm -hmm. And I liked the painting. It was, it was comical. Uh -huh. I didn't try to be realistic because I'm, I'm not a realistic painter. I'm not a realist. Uh, but it was kind of happy painting. And then I had another canvas. They're 36 by 36. And I had another one. And I just butted them up together and continued the scene. Mm -hmm. And so then I had a diptych. So, so if we look at the book, we mm -hmm. can probably figure this out, right? Yes, you can. Cool. So this was a, this was a sequence. This is a sequence. Did you That's go right. back and add pieces in between I to did. kind of connect it? Actually, there now are eight thirty-six uh -huh. by thirty-six paintings, and uh -huh. then there are about I'm going to guess uh, twelve or fifteen smaller pieces right. that are characters in the book. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. It's a really fun, and you know, I was talking to you the first time I saw this about how different this style of painting is from yes, your for usual me. style yeah. of painting. Now, why'd you do that? Well, it was so much fun. It's, uh, I, I almost, you know, they say you, you, fi you find yourself in what you paint. Uh huh. Um, and I, I just found that I enjoyed it so much. I knew my grandchildren would enjoy right. it. Right. And I just kept. I brought, got another couple of canvases, put them together, and the first thing you know, I've got this little scene laid out, and I thought, I've already got a book written. Yeah. And uh -huh. all I've got to do is put the words in it, and right. it's there. Uh huh. So after, I probably really did write eight or ten different stories until I finally got it down to what I wanted. The right one. Mm -hmm. And then I had to tweak some of the paintings, of course, but it was just a... I know it's a cliche, but a labor of love. It yeah. really was. Mm -hmm. it was. There was no work involved. <laughs> what kind of style would you say this is? Oh, I don't have any idea. It almost feels like a Grandma Moses style, you know? Everybody, people tell me that, uh -huh. that it has a Grandma Moses. Perspective's way off. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. the cows way up on the hill and way back are larger than the... Than the ones up close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a car. One of my favorites is this little car that's just going straight uphill. <laughs> It should turn over that way, you know. Gravity doesn't apply. No. <laughs> so. And uh, and the title came from, I, I kept trying to think, because the Christmas trees have a party and dance and yes. everything. Mm -hmm. And I knew they needed light to do that. Mm -hmm. So that thus the, the title, One Night, Two Moons, because there's two full moons in the sky on the night they have their party. Two spotlights. Mm -hmm. Two big ones. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's really fun. Now, this book was a huge success. Oh, you sold out so fast. We did. And so now you've got more. We have more. That's great. Yep. So They're now, available if now. you missed it, you're not uh, lost. No. Joe has made sure you've got something. And we <laughs> certainly invite you to come. Uh, all the stores that uh -huh. uh, had them still have them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we've re replenished them. So right. all the Boone Drug Company stores, right. the Mass store has mm -hmm. them. Uh, Brahm in Blowing Rock has them. Right. The drugstore, of course, in Blowing Rock has them. Uh, Cheap Joe's Art stuff, we have them there, mm -hmm. of course. So. And did you say they could be ordered? They can be ordered. Okay, how do you order them? Well, simply pick up the phone and call Cheap Joe's Art stuff. They'll take your order. Uh-huh. And um, w I'll be glad to personalize them. Mm -hmm. And we'll still mail them out to you. So you so. just tell the person when you order it mm -hmm. what you want on the book or exactly. who it's for at least. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And be sure you spell the name if it's to someone. Because yeah. I've seen a lot mm -hmm. of different name spellings, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be sure and get it right if they'll and do that. And it'll still be legible so they'll know that it's misspelled, correct? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. Now, Joe, I was thinking about you, too, and, and the fact that you've been a staunch supporter of the Arts Council for so many years. As a matter of fact, for those who don't know it, Joe was one of the founders of the Arts Council. Yep. And um, many years ago. Many years ago. Yes, uh, running up on 33 years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And so um, you, the Arts Council is extremely diverse, mm -hmm. and we cover every kind of art form that we can find, you know. And I was thinking about you and, and correlating that and thought, you know, the only f art form I can think of that I haven't seen Joe dabble in is dance. No, you're right. <laughs> is this I, next? <laughs> I don't think so. 
<laughs> you know, I don't think I'll be invited to Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But you know, that that is the only piece of the arts that I feel like I don't see a piece of you somewhere in. Right. You know? I mean, well, you just keep keep on looking. Okay. So we'll, I'm sure it's just right around the corner. We're gonna watch. I feel it. like it. I, I feel like it will be ballet. Ballet. Okay. <laughs> In the lead no. card at all? Ooh. <laughs> no, I'm afraid I'm not a dancer. Right. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe some people would disagree with that. It just depends on what you're dancing in. Yeah. Right? There you go. Yeah. I like uh -huh. that. Because there's all kinds of ways to dance. Yeah. So. I like that. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to work on Joe, and when he debuts his dance, promise me. I promise you, I'll bring him back and show you how. Absolutely. To <laughs> if if you see me dancing, I'll I'll come here with my tutu on and <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and do a dance. <laughs> well, what no. makes you so diverse in your art? You know, I mean, it's almost like you you keep coming out with a different personality or a different angle on it or a different something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so fortunate that uh, I've had the opportunity to play with so much different art material. Mm -hmm. See, being in the art material business, uh, which we're mainly mail order, of right. course, right. but um, we, we not only buy from companies around the world, but salesmen from around mm -hmm. the world come mm -hmm. to us to help promote their products, right. that sort of thing. So every time they come, they'll leave a sample or two mm -hmm. to try. Mm -hmm. And um, that really, I guess, is part of my big job there at Cheap Joe's, is trying new product and deciding what product is going to go in the catalog right. and what product is not going in the catalog. Because if, if we get something and we haven't tried it, we put it in the catalog and it sells and it's inferior product, mm -hmm. that's no good. Mm -hmm. So we try to make sure that everything goes in the catalog, number one, does what it says it will do, mm -hmm. is of high quality, right. archival we call it, so mm -hmm. it's going to be around a long, long time. So I get, I have this wonderful opportunity to do that. Right now, we have a, two new products that are just fabulous. One of them is called TerraSkin, hmm, and TerraSkin is a paper that's made from stone. Huh. No water and no pulp are involved in the making of this paper, they made in Canada. Down. I wish I knew how they made it. I huh. think that would be fun to know, but right. I have not a clue. But it's made in Canada. It's called TerraSkin, and it's like a plastic paper. So that when you paint on it, it appears that everything sets up right on the top. Right. And then when it dries, it kind of smooths out. So watercolor bubbles like on glass, but then when it dries, it all gets back together, and it gives these wonderful techniques and effects. Don't you wonder how somebody thought of this? Mm -hmm. So that's that's, yeah, that's, um, that's been a lot of. A that's lot one of, fun. of two new products. What's the other one? Well, the other the other new product we have that I really have enjoyed using are watercolor pencils. Oh and yes. They're not mm -hmm. necessarily mm -hmm. new, but we have mm -hmm. some really high quality pencils, and you simply do like a a child. In fact, we we give those in mm -hmm. our brushes for mm -hmm. Vincent to children in hospitals, because they can color with the pen, pencil, and then once they get it all colored, you just take a damp brush and go over it and it all just blends together yes mm -hmm. and it makes a watercolor that's really neat with all these wonderful colors and things so and it's something that'll wash out it is unlike alcohol inks which are another fairly new product they are and they're fun too mm -hmm. we've been doing workshops and classes mm -hmm. in alcohol inks lately and it's one of those things that kind of does its own thing you it know it does you know the you bright do. colors oh yeah happy colors uh, very exciting mm -hmm. they very are exciting. so I love listening to a workshop in uh, Alcohol Link because down the hall you can hear, oh, look, look what it did. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. get so excited. <laughs> so, and that brings up a thing too. Now, you teach workshops, and, we do. and Cheap Joe's offers workshops, mm -hmm. and they're, they're on a very um, uh, wonderful scale, incredible. Mm -hmm. You bring in big time folks mm -hmm. to teach a lot of these workshops, you teach some of them yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have local folks who teach workshops, uh, more, you know, a mm -hmm. little bit less involved, a little bit, you know, yours are often, aren't they usually about a week? Or They're a week so, long, yeah, mm -hmm. uh -huh, Monday through Friday. Right, and so ours are not always as, as intense. So ours are the beginning stage, then you go take his workshops. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, the Arts Council, through the Blue Ridge Art Space, is offering a big variety of workshops, including the Alcohol Inc. and several of these other things. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard of this tear skin. We'll have to work on that Yeah, one. they'll like it. Yeah. 
So we'll have to we'll have to get together and figure that one out. I've you got bet. to see this stuff. Yeah, it's so, fun. <laughs> you know, I, a little, you have a lot of artists that work for you. We do. I think it's, I believe I'm telling you right that sixty percent of the people that work at Cheap Joe's true. do some form of art. Well, and I'd say probably the sixty percent started out doing some form of art, and I think some of the rest of them get into it. A lot do. You're mm -hmm. exactly right. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. kind of contagious. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I think one of the reasons they enjoy working so much for you, besides the wonderful environment and the fact that y'all are such great employers, is the fact that they also sometimes have opportunities to help test products. They do. And that's cool, you know, <coughs> that they me. have that they opportunity. Sure do. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, y'all have been a big part of the business community in our, in our community and helped make the arts a major part of our community. Thank you. Know? you. And Thank so you that's for that. something we both appreciate. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And we hope you do too. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a website. Uh, what, you know, can you Just cheapjoes.com. Cheapjoes.com. Mm -hmm. And watauga-arts.org is the Arts Council's uh, website. Uh, I will say that Cheap Joe's has been a, not only a staunch supporter of the Arts Council, but specifically a sponsor of our galleries for we don't really know how many years. Long time. A long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have four galleries in the uh, Blue Ridge Art Space now. So you need to keep coming by and checking out the fruits of, of their support mm -hmm. because there's a lot going on in the arts in our community. Does everyone know where you are now? I hope so. But, you know, I say it a lot, but it's at yeah. the corner of Chatelaine and State Farm. Mm -hmm. if you Easy go, to get to. Exactly. If you turn up by, um, what is it, Five Guys mm -hmm. on Chatelaine Drive, and you pass Appalachian Bryan on the left and then the former Chatelaine plant, uh, then just pass that on the corner, we're the next building, the only building, right before you get to the red light. So don't go all the way to the red light. Make a left turn into our parking lot. Yeah. We're easy to find. It is. Great um, new place. And you're just going to have to come uh, sign these books now since we didn't get a chance to do it before Christmas. I'll be glad to. We'll set a time and we'll let people that. know. And we'll do that. Okay. All right. That'd and then fun. we're going to have a dancing recital. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that too. <laughs> now, you know what I just thought of? We left out singing. You, do you sing? No. I couldn't sing today anyhow. I'm but you a little hoarse. But normally? No, in the shower. I'm a shower okay. singer. Okay. We'll have to hide a microphone sometime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Check out our website and also the Cheap Joe's website for so much exciting stuff that's going on in the arts in Watauga County. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.